I opened the store just 25 years ago. I had a mail order business called Master the Game in the back of EGM and GamePro. This store is a little bit like a museum, and I would imagine most game store owners feel that way. I really just love being around people passionate about the same things I'm passionate about. <laughs> I mean, when I was dreaming about, oh, I'd like to have a game company, my dreams were walking into a store and seeing it on a shelf. By the time I got to where we were actually shipping our own games, it was like, okay, we should do this all digitally. You could buy video games on your Xbox over the internet. Oh, yeah, I can download this game. I think the benefit to the consumer about digital distribution is freedom. Anyone can make anything. You can get this game out there to people. Well, if I buy it, what happens? What do you own? Well, it's not an artifact that can be passed from one hand to the other. Yes, you have those things, but now no one else can. You kind of get to come back and relive those moments, times that were a little less uh, stressful than they are today. I didn't think I wanted to be a business owner, but I love it. I don't think I could go back now. I think I mostly download games now. Maybe you don't want to own all these pieces of plastic and paper. Games, and the fact that they're sort of like ever-changing, ever-developing, it's not something you can really like latch on to and say like this is the definitive thing, it's like ever-changing. Everything in the world is moving toward replacing people and having to pay them. It's not about the game, it's about how they came across the game.